So the first thing is, and this is super important, right? Perception is everything. Our environment never changes. The, this room right now, this is this room. We can see whatever we want, right? So when we exist in life, our perception is everything. We see the things we want to see, and the things that jump out at us jump out at us, but we let the other stuff go, you know? We have all this stimulus and all these things that stand out and all these things that are all around us, right? But certain things stand out to us and certain things don't. So I have pretty much the exact same number of cool, kind of healthy lifestyle options up here as I have the ones that aren't, you know? What are the things that you call? Okay, what are the things that you saw go up and triggered something in you and you saw and got excited about? You know, it's totally okay if that's the Krispy Kreme logo or the Popeyes logo, because that's okay. But the point is, is that all this stimulus is here. It's your choice what you take in. When you drive down the street, you have the option to see every fast food sign, every distraction, every vice. It's all around you all the time. But you have the option to see the stuff that is kind of a handle into what you want. But it's, we make the decision to see the things that we want to see, either consciously or subconsciously. But that stuff is around us all the time. You know what I mean? So even if we think we're focused on blocking that stuff out, we see the things that we focus on, right? And there are just as many healthy options as there are unhealthy ones. You drive down the street, you see all the same stuff. There's just as many options to go do something healthy, something productive, something that's in the line of your goal, as there are distractions and potholes and pitfalls and all that stuff. Those things cancel each other out. But we see the stuff that stands out in our mind. And the option between staying in healthy, uh, healthy and unhealthy, it's always there. You know, it always exists. We may say, oh, I need to get on the other side of this holiday. I need to get on the other side of this vacation. I need to get on the other side of this work project. But that option is always there, you know? Um, I went through this phase years ago where I got really into reading these books that were written by ultra marathoners, guys who run 50, 100 mile races, guys like Scott Jurek and Dean Carnazians, and they're really, really interesting books. Um, but one thing all those guys have in common is that one day they just put on running shoes and started running. You know, actually, um, in Dean Carnazian's case, it